As you may have noticed, there's been some serious changes to the website. I'm proud to say that I finally launched the new version of GaryAGirl.com. Did you know the website is actually over nine years old? Taking it from one platform, it was originally built on Drupal 6. Um, I built it out of a library book. Uh, it was a O'Reilly book from way back and uh, I checked it out. I have a computer science background, so it's not like I came into this with nothing, but I built the site and a bunch of custom data types pretty much straight out of the book. So that site served pretty well for many, many years, but nine years is a long time for a website to look the same. So over the past year, I kept getting sidetracked by people wanting to pay me to do things, and I finally got things done. Fortunately, with the help of a really cool little local team that I'm starting to nurture, uh, they really made it possible here in the last two weeks, that final push to get the new site up. So in celebration of the site relaunch, um, now it's we're still working out some bugs here and there. Things are not perfect. Um, I still have some um, images that need to have their links updated and things like that. But for pretty much most purposes, the site is already easier for most people to use. Google is having no problems finding and serving it even more, which makes me super excited. So since I've been in the analytics file uh, poking through and making sure nothing was missing, I realized that there are some top posts that you may have missed because this is pretty much, uh, well, these are the top posts of all time. And we're gonna talk about each one of them. There's top 10, we start a countdown. So they're not necessarily in the most exact order, but that's okay. All right, the top 10 posts of all time in no particular order. I know that's kind of a contradiction, but you know what I'm trying to say here. We're gonna start first with a recipe. Now this is a really simple recipe, but I think it came up a lot in search because of its simplicity and the fact that it uses an Instant Pot. So the two ingredient Instant Pot Make Ahead Red Chili Enchilada Sauce Chicken. So I will have the link for this below in the notes, but basically this little recipe, you take two things, one, chicken, two, red chili enchilada sauce, and um, you put them in the Instant Pot. I make this about two to four pounds a time, and it is great left over. If you're doing meal prep, it's very easy to portion this out. You can freeze some of it if you're a small household. But one of the key things is to make sure you get a high quality red enchilada sauce. In the example recipe, I use one from Frontera, which is really tasty brand. So if you can find it, it's very good. Sometimes the canned ones will taste a little bit too much like canned, so you'll want to avoid that. So that was our first one, the two ingredient instant pot red chili chicken enchilada sauce recipe. Super simple. The next one, Ask Geary Girl, which is a whole little section, and I'm in the process of making that even easier to search. Ask Geary Girl, is convict conditioning okay for women, and why not a thousand swings? So this page, um, pretty much, I get this question a lot uh, about a lot of different exercise modalities. Convict conditioning does have a rough manly man exterior to it, but here's the secret, a lot of that stuff, it, well, it's just great for human bodies. Now, depending on your fitness level, and this goes for all genders, you may not progress as far or as fast as some other people, but last time I checked, that's kind of the truth for everything. The Leg Destroyer, a boot camp workout for when you forgot your kettlebell. Now, there's a funny story behind this, and if you look at the link, you'll notice that it's formatted a little bit differently. This is a really early post. I'm trying to think when this was posted. Uh, originally, oh no, I would have, hmm. It says 2011, I think the original post of this was actually 2009. And I'll tell you why, I was leading a friend of mine's boot camp and she had all of these 
boot camp workout. So we're in a, it was like a 30 day pack. It was a pretty cool little product. People bought it as an ebook. This was a long time ago, but internationally it was super popular and the workouts were good. People liked them. This was a no equipment workout, all body weight, a lower body. You know, people think, oh, you can't train your lower body with this calisthenics. I would challenge you to go do the leg destroyer workout and get back to me on that. There's been some new versions of this, which I will be sharing with you later as I introduced my friends at NC Systema to a personalized version of this for their entertainment. And one of the guys is named Jeff and we call this the Jeff Destroyer. Uh, the next day after doing the version of the workout, he posted some cute pictures of baby giraffes trying to watch. So, cheers Jeff. All right, a 300 nightmare kettlebell battling rope and jump rope workout. So several years ago, after the movie 300 came out, uh, everybody wanted to have those crazy abs like the guys in the movie had. A little did they know some of that was makeup, but hey, whatever, movie magic, hashtag fitspo, right? Anyway, it was one of many 300 workouts that I have written. I even still like doing them now. I think of 300 workouts as like kind of a benchmark, sort of see where you're at. The goal is 300 reps of something total. This one's called an exercise and adaptation slash regression of a classic Pavel plan for kettlebell and body weight. Now what this actually is, was a long time ago, let me see here. Now I have, touched up this article over the years. Originally, this would have been, ah, 2012. Original date was 2012. Modifications a little bit here. And they're just updating things, tuning things up. Um, so Pavel had this thing called the Force Recon Workout. And it was very difficult, but it was a really cool plan for getting your pull-up reps up, way up. And I've done versions of it for many years. This was kind of my first foray in adapting it for different fitness levels. So if you're not already a Navy SEAL, you might wanna check this out. Something that was kind of funny to me is that I was noticing I was getting a lot of traffic to this particular page from um, a competitor of Dragon Doors um, forum. So thank you for the traffic. We have just a category that has been very popular and I really appreciate everybody who's been reading my site over the years. I, it's, I gotta be honest, it's pretty darn amazing. And there's, there's a lot of stories that I can tell you that have happened since, oh my gosh, I think I started building this site in 2008. Um, I was in Florida, I was um, renting a condo that unfortunately um, was uh, the landlords were going through foreclosure because it's what you did in 2008 apparently, which was super scummy of them, but whatever. Anyway, I, I just remember that timestamp. Uh, so I was starting developing this website out of a library book and a couple of things, people would ask me questions. So I started a whole section called Ask, here you go. So that section has been amazingly popular over the years. And now with the new updated version of it, there's a neat little spot where you can send me a question directly from that page. So I encourage you to do that and look forward to your questions. Do not ever feel like you are bothering me if you're asking a really cool, relevant question to kettlebell or calisthenics or low carb cooking, things like that. I welcome you to ask me those sort of questions so we can um, get more fun stuff up on the site. 21 kettlebell workouts from Master RKC Dan John, valuable programming tips, and what to do after your HKC workout. Now basically this page was talking about a really cool post from Master RKC Dan John, who we all really like and admire from what I can tell out there on the internet. He's a little bit of a meme into himself, but that's because he's so awesome. He says neat stuff that we all need to hear, like keep the goal the goal. I say that sometimes to my clients who don't even come to me for fitness. So if you're one of my IT clients, you've probably heard that. So the 21 kettlebell workouts are actually on the RKC blog, and I link to it from this page, but I kind of give a little bit of context to it. Maybe you want to do them. Um, and this page was intended for people who have maybe just gone through their HKC workshop and they're like, okay, cool, now what? You know, I'm always interested in the now what. 
If you've gone and you've done this workshop and it's Monday morning, the following week, your clients are coming in, maybe your small group class is coming in, maybe your fitness class is coming in, and what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna bring from that workshop right there immediately? And this article addresses that. Keto English muffins, crumpets, or breakfast sandwich buns. So this is a really simple recipe. Uh, if you're doing keto or low carb or just, you know, not super into starches, I don't really do too well with having a lot of carbs. Um, just, that's just my metabolism. My parents are the same way. Uh, so I'm always kind of, I, honestly, I love that low carb and keto and paleo and primal diets are as popular as they are now because it makes all kinds of fun stuff that I like to eat. I genuinely enjoy that kind of food and I won't fall asleep at my desk, which is very important. So uh, this is a recipe that I adapted from one that I found on YouTube. Um, and so I show how to make it. You make, um, you know, those little egg rings. So you mix up this kind of funky batter and you pour it in a little egg ring and it makes this little kind of, um, it looks like a crumpet or an English muffin and the very high fiber. So when you first make this recipe, just eat one. You're gonna be tempted to eat more of them, but trust me, you wanna kind of ease your body into this because they are intense, all right? Okay, get what I'm trying to say here? All right, so go ahead and check that out. This is the collected workouts page and this is like, 10 years of workouts that I have either personally done, have led a private client through and then adapted the workout to more general sense, um, or from my small groups or from any of the group classes that I have led. So there are 10 years of workouts in there. Now, some are better than others, um, and I continually go through and try to adapt them as I run into them, but there are a lot. I haven't even counted how many there are. I know for a few years, um, when I first launched the site, and after I did my RKC level two for the first time in 2011, um, I found out later that there were a few instructors across the country who were using a lot of the workouts on there to lead their small group classes. I was honored to find that out. So um, you'll find a few, pages in there where you'll see me reaching out to people and asking about their experiences, what they modified. I also try to give modifications for when I can. So now, this is actually the top post on my website of all time. This may be surprising to you, it may not. And there's a weird story behind it as well. It's the Kettlebell Physique article. It is the top post of all time, period. End of story. Seriously, it's crazy. So I had noticed early on, and, and this page has been, I think, I wrote it at the very beginning and then I kept modifying it. So, you know, it, it actually says it's from 2018, but it's actually from like 2009. And a lot of it is about, okay, well, what will you look like if you seriously train with kettlebells? and uh, letting people know, men, women, etc., cetera, um, what they would look like if they used kettlebells. There was a little bit from Pavel and it was very obvious he was talking specifically about men's physiques and uh, there was just not a lot else out there. It's like, okay, well, I can kind of look at that and extrapolate what will happen with me, uh, but not a lot of people really have that ability. Plus, I shared a little bit of my experience of what has happened. So there's a lot of very good news on that page, I think. And if you are using kettlebells, if you just got started, you want to get a little inspiration about what can happen if you, you know, seriously give it a go. And, uh, you know, use a, a, a diet of your choosing that is sensible, whatever that might be. But uh, yeah, so I finally answer, okay, what will kettlebells do to your body? And this post has been the most popular of all time. And I think it's just because a lot of people weren't talking about it back then and maybe they're not now, I don't know. The other thing, I was in New York, gosh, I don't even remember what year. I was in a Starbucks, I was working on my website. This was like 20 computers ago, you guys. Um, it was a, I don't even remember what they, they call it like a netbook back then. I don't even know if they sell things like that anymore. It's probably like 
Chromebook now. It was like a $250 Acer thing. And I had this giant decal on the back that was the Gear Your Girl logo. I look up and there's this dude across the Starbucks who is, I think this is like the West Village or something, I don't remember. This was at least like nine years ago. And he's like, hey, you know, what's that about? It looks like a kettlebell. I'm like, oh, you know what a kettlebell is? And we start talking and he ran several websites that were mostly like bodybuilder websites and whatnot. And we ended up talking and he was like, oh, that's a great article. I'm gonna link to it from several of my websites. So thank you, Jimmy, uh, that has paid off years later, and this is still the top web page on my site. So there was a really strong burst of, of traffic from way early to this page. Plus, it ranks high in Google because people want to know this answer. So if you want to add some of your own experiences in terms of you know what kettlebells have done for you in terms of physique, please, you can hit the feedback button um, in the bottom right. Uh, if you're on the desktop, I believe it's just a little question mark, it's a little gray circle with a question mark in it. If you're on mobile, that will open up a window where you can create, um, a, it's like a contact form. It comes to, it creates a customer service ticket, which, yeah, I, I do use those. It is just me answering them, but uh, it helps me keep organized. Anyway, so that is the top post of all time from GearYourGirl.com. I hope you enjoy the new website's new look. It's coming up way better on mobile. There's a big hilarious story about how it was coming up on mobile before this time that you will not believe, but I will save that for next time. So please like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when my next video is coming out. There's gonna be more follow along workouts to look forward to. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the new site. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below or on the feedback button, and I will see you again soon. Thanks again for reading all these years. Could not have done it without you.